Hey guys, it's Tyler from Mad Dog Cycles, and today we're gonna go over some pre-ride checks for Segway, Suron, and Talaria electric dirt bikes. So to ensure rider safety, the life of the components, and the best overall riding experience, there's just a few things you wanna check on your electric dirt bike before you get going. First thing you're gonna to wanna to check with your electric dirt bike before you ride is the tires. So every bike's gonna have slightly different tires, but every tire is gonna have a number on the side that tells you what pressure or PSI you can run that tire at. So you'll wanna check that before you ride and make sure you're within that range. Other than that, every tire has wear indicators that'll tell you when you need to replace the tire due to wear. So on this specific model, these tires have knobs on the middle tread, and as soon as those are worn down low, you'll wanna make sure you replace those to make sure you're riding safely and having the best possible experience on the bike. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to look at before you ride are the brakes. And since these bikes are so much heavier and bigger than mountain bikes, but they still use traditional mountain bike components, the brake pads are gonna wear a lot quicker than on a standard mountain bike. So what you'll wanna do before you ride is look in between the calipers and you'll see the actual brake pads. And if those pads are low and almost to the metal backing, that's when you'll know you'll need to get those replaced before you ride to make sure your bike is braking optimally. Okay, so the third thing you're gonna to wanna to check on your bike is the hardware on the front fork. So each fork manufacturer is gonna have different recommendations as far as the torque you need to set the bolts to. However, if you're in a pinch and don't have a torque wrench, just get that nice and snug. So each front fork's gonna have an axle bolt and two pinch bolts, and you wanna make sure those are nice and snug. Don't over tighten them, but if they're not tight, you risk the wheel coming loose and potentially coming out while you ride. So the last thing you're gonna wanna check on your bike before you ride is the bolts in the stem and the face plate. So you'll just wanna tighten these, again, get them nice and snug. Almost all headsets are gonna be set to five Newton meters as far as the torque goes. So if you do have a torque wrench, make sure you're getting that to five. If not, again, if you're in a pinch and don't have that, just get them nice and snug without over tightening. So if those aren't tight, you risk your handlebars coming loose and then losing the ability to steer while you ride. So that's it as far as a pre-ride check goes. If you have any other questions on the bike as far as maintenance or don't feel comfortable with something, make sure you're bringing it by the shop or let our staff know and we'll be more than happy to get you taken care of to make sure you're safe on the trail and having the most fun possible. If you have any other questions or recommendations for further videos that we can do, make sure you let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to get to them in future videos. Thanks again for watching.